Good day everyone. So today I'm gonna show you how to run VCFace on Linux using the uh, Proton compatibility layer that uh, Steam provides. So yeah, uh, first of all I hope you know how to use a terminal because that's how uh, I'm gonna do it. Uh, if you're not comfortable using a terminal I strongly suggest that you learn how to use the terminal. It's not very difficult once you get the hang of it, so to say. Uh, you also need to know uh, how to use your package manager, and um, yeah, the, yeah, that's it, I think. The package manager and the terminal. Good to know things that every Linux user should know, in my opinion, but yeah, uh, let's start. So first you need to install a few programs. Uh, so you use your good package manager, yeah, pacman, so you want to install git. Python and Steam, if you don't have those. Uh, I think that's all you need, actually. Uh, so yeah, you install those ones. Very good. Then I'm gonna create a directory. Here we're gonna save our stuff. Uh, so we need to install OpenCFace first, if you're gonna use camera-based tracking. Uh, if you use uh, iPhone tracking or Android tracking with, uh, I don't know, VTube Studio, iFacial, MoCap or uh, MeowFace, uh, you don't need this one, so you can skip this one. But uh, I'm going to show you uh, OpenCFace. So we want to clone this one, so we're going to do to the green button code, copy this line here, do git clone paste that one and it will download. So while we wait for that we can go to VCFace webpage. I will have these links uh, down below as well. I'm gonna scroll down here. You can download this in whatever way you want. I'm gonna use wget to download it. And now we can uh, unzip VCFace. Unzip it. And we're gonna go into the VC face uh, directory. So here we have the VC face uh, program. And we're actually gonna remove a file uh, because they tell us, uh, let's see, I think it was in the run on Linux here. They tell us, uh, yeah, here, it's necessary to delete GPU management plugin.dll. Uh, so we're gonna delete that one. It's located in vcface underscore data and then I think it was uh, the resources no it's uh, plugins yeah plugins here it is GPU management plugin so we delete this one now we're done here uh, so now we prepared vcface files we're gonna look at the open CFace files. So we're gonna have to go into open CFace directory. Here we want to create a new Python environment. So we do Python dash M VNV stands for virtual environment. And then we do a dot because we want to make it in this directory. So now it's creating it. Now we got a few files. I should have shown you this before, but we got uh, this bin directory, include, uh, lib, and I think we got some more file that I don't remember really. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna activate this environment by sourcing the, uh, what's called the environment files. We can do that by either typing source and then the file, but we're gonna do the easy way and just do a dot, which is the same thing. So we're gonna do dot bin activate. So the activate file is the one we want to source. So now you can see we have sourced the file and it activated the environment. So everything we install here is like exclusive to OpenCFace now. So if we go back to OpenCFace uh, webpage, let's scroll down a bit, quite far. Uh, here we have dependencies. Uh, so I use Python 3.10. If you use the older one, you can download this instead, or yeah, these dependencies. 
we're gonna copy this line here with all the dependencies. And we're gonna do just paste it and press enter. And it will install them. And there we go. So now we can actually use the face tracker by doing python face tracker.py and it should track us instantly. I only have one camera so it will select the correct camera uh, by default. Uh, if you have more than one camera you can do dash C and then write the camera number. So zero is the first camera, one is the second, two and so forth. So maybe your camera is in position one, you do C1. Uh, you may not even know which position it is and you just have to try different numbers or until the... Yeah, my camera lights up when it's recording. So, uh, so my camera lights up so we can do like C0 and we'll select this camera. You can also silence this output by doing dash S1. So now it's running in the background and uh, it doesn't produce any output. But it's running. So we can leave this page now. It's uh, it's done. Uh, now we can go to Steam here. I hope you installed Steam and logged in and everything. Uh, so first we're gonna install Proton if you don't have <laughs> that installed. So here you can check uh, tools. I think it's tools software. One of those. Check both if you're unsure. And we can search for Proton. So here we can install a bunch of different versions. I'm going to use the latest, or the 7.0. So you can just install this if you haven't installed it. Uh, and then we're going to add VC face. We're going to do add game down here. And add a non-Steam game. It's pretty small text, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, we're going to do browse. And here we're going to go to the... Um, the, f the f directory that we got VC face in. Uh, so here, VC face, VC face, and then you have to select this one to show all files instead of just dot desktop files. You can do VC face dot exe open and then add selected. We scroll down a bit and we have VC face dot exe here. So before we start it, we want to right click and do properties and select uh, compatibility to use uh, Proton 7 that we installed or whatever Proton you installed. It will show all the versions, but uh, even if you <laughs> even if it's not installed, it will show them. So if you select one that's not installed, it will just not start at all. But we can select 7.0 here. And then here in shortcut, uh, we want to use the green screen because we can't use the like native transparency that uh, VC face uh, comes with. That's a Windows only thing, I think. So we do background dash color space uh, single quote hashtag zero zero f f zero zero single quote, uh, and that will bring. The background into a green screen so we can use that and uh, now we launch it and see if it works you can just hope and it uh, looks like it does work I skip the tutorial I'm gonna add an uh, avatar here uh, it's gonna go to my avatar somewhere I found some uh, <laughs> random avatar that I just had laying around. I don't even know what it is. It's just some sample avatar. So I'm gonna use that one. Some... Uh, I don't even know what it is. Um, yeah, some sample avatar. I don't know. Here in camera, we can do open sea face tracking because we don't uh, use... It doesn't find our camera, so we can't use that. So we're gonna do open sea face tracking. Uh, the port and... Uh, IP address, you can just leave, they are good by default. And then we do start. And it should work instantly. Bam, bam, bam. Very good. I mirror this one. Now, uh, let's see. Here we can, uh, yeah, this one doesn't do anything. The face tracking, disable. 
uh, because we don't use uh, VC face built-in face tracking, but we use our instead. So if I like close this one, the face tracking will stop. Now it's just audio lip sync. Can disable the audio lip sync. Now it doesn't work at all. Uh, but if we start this one again, it will start working. Ba, ba, ba. But yeah, this is. Uh, I think that's it. Now, if you use an uh, iPhone, uh, we can actually disable this. In case you use an iPhone or Android, uh, we can go down here to iFacial Mocap, uh, Face Mocap 3D, YouTube Studio, whatever. And we check this box, and here we can write IP address of our uh, uh, phone. So I'm gonna do that. I have no idea if this model has AR kit shapes, but we'll see. Uh, I use VTube Studio. So I'll try it like this. Oh, actually it works. Nice. Uh, but yeah, that's all for you today. Uh, I hope you <laughs> get it to work and hopefully you don't have many issues. You never know uh, <laughs> when you try to run Windows applications in Linux. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You can just hope that it works. Uh, but yeah, thanks you for watching. Hope this helps. Uh, I'll see you some other time.